solar universe just appear over billions of years, where are we going? What's the end game? What's the conclusion? Did y'all hear what he said? Yeah. If it just appeared out of nothing and expanded <laughs> over billions of years, eventually it will disappear. That is literally what evolutionary scientists teach and believe. Yes, ma'am. Okay, well, that's, that is a end game that we can consider. But their philosophy would be that it would keep growing to infinitum that there's always more room. It wouldn't get so big to where it can't grow anymore. They actually think the reverse would happen, that it would end up collapsing on itself and shrink into oblivion. Yes, sir. But that is a possible end game. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You. Oh, we're going down. Hey, that is a logical conclusion. That not just we will die, but that the earth as we know it will die, that all existence will die, and that everything will end in a grand nothingness. Right? That is literally the conclusion. Let's think about a few things. Yes, ma'am. Global warming is another way in which they think that, that things will get they started off real, real hot. Then they got cool enough for life to come into existence. There's a belief that they will get hotter and hotter. All of us will burn up, and that'll be the end of life. Yes, sir. World hunger, all these different kind of things. Yes, sir. The sun will explode. What I want you all to notice, I want you to notice the bleak, negative, hopeless conclusions of evolution. Do y'all see that? Yeah. I mean, think about a few things. If we got here just because this little hot thing started expanding, we really don't have much hope for a future. Matter of fact, we don't have too much hope for even now. If, if our life is just a series of random events that just happened, then I don't necessarily need to respect you. I don't need to honor you because you just random. I mean, you just came from an animal that just came from a lower life form that just came from some atoms and some protons that just came from some explosion. Why should I respect you? Why should I value you? At the end of the day, if we go to the logical conclusion of the evolutionary Big Bang Theory, we might as well just live it up as much as we can because in a second we're gonna die. I mean, get all the fun you can real quick because you're gonna die real fast. That's actually what the Bible says in 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 32. I'm gonna read it to you. This is 1 Corinthians. Matter of fact, we're gonna have some else read it to you. Who's gonna read it to me? Somebody stand up and wants to read it. Right here. 1 Corinthians, come on out here. Let's give them our attention. 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 32. Read that second part right there. Stop. Listen up. If the dead do not rise. A little louder, a little louder, a little louder. If the dead do not rise, let us eat and drink, for tomorrow we die. If the dead do not rise, let's eat, drink, party, have a good time, because tomorrow we die. If there is no future, if the only thing we have is, well, someday everything is just going to explode, everything is just going to implode, then really there's kind of like no hope, no need in, uh, you know, planning for the future, because at the end of the day, I mean, really, no need to build lasting relationships because they all going to end. No need. Man, that's a very drew, gloomy, doomsday kind of end game. Do y'all follow me? Yeah. Now, let's consider the other conclusion. If there actually is a God who has all power and who created this world 
and populated it with people because he loves them and wants a relationship with them. What's the conclusion to that game? How does that one end? How does that one end? Yes, sir. That someday he's going to come back and take us to his home. Yeah. That, that would make sense that, that, that he's going to continue to allow us to live with him, where we will actually have an existence that continues to give us life and joy and peace and things of that nature. Let's even talk about if that is true, it says a whole lot about how I should respect you. It says a whole lot about the value that you have. You actually are created in the image of God, which means I should respect you. I should actually be kind to you. It actually gives me a reason to develop relationships because they will last. There's such a thing as everlasting life. What I want you to notice is the end of evolutionary thinking and the Big Bang Theory is death. The end of the thought of a loving God is life. And this is just with us using our minds to reason together and come to the logical conclusion of two different scientific philosophies. I don't know about you, but I hope the God one is true. Because if it ain't true, I mean, honestly, shouldn't we just kind of kill each other and spare ourselves the pain? I mean, we got the global warming that he's talking about. We got the world hunger. We got the fact that things are just going to turn in on themselves. Rather than go through all of the pain of a bunch of chaos, a bunch of catastrophes, and stuff that ends in death, you know, let's imagine that somebody was torturing me and they said, I'm just going to torture you long and slow for a bunch of hours or days or weeks or months or years. I just don't get that thing over right away. I don't know about you. I would rather die in an instant than for somebody to just slowly but surely turn the heat up on me, put me in some kind of cauldron of oil and just slowly but surely turn the heat up on me and I feel my flesh burning and I, man, that's a horrible existence. But on the other hand, if there is a God and he is promising that life will actually be able to continue in a loving, joy-filled, peaceful kind of environment, I'm hoping that that one's true. We're going to talk this evening about a little more regarding what we can see that makes us know which of those is true. Does that make sense? Yeah. So what we got so far is on our first conversation, in our first conversation, we talked about who's behind this stuff and who put it here. You ever seen a sidewalk and somebody carved their name in the sidewalk and they say, so-and-so was here? We're suggesting that everything you see is God's way of saying, I'm here. Now we just talked about what is the conclusion of that. If God is here, the conclusion can be life. If God is not here, the conclusion is slow death. Which one do y'all hope is true? I hope God and life is true. Let's pray together. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, we're praying that you will continue to help us to reason together. Give us understanding through your spirit. Allow us to look at the things that you have made and draw accurate, appropriate conclusions. Father, we pray that you will not only give us an awareness of your existence, but give us the key to experience the everlasting life that you allow. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. Amen.